Hello and welcome to episode 17 of The Spirit Engine 2. I'm bringing the stabity, the stabby stabity that ever stabity. And as always, I have with me. And Weisswaller, who was feeling under the weather and slept until 1 30 this afternoon. Yeah, that definitely sounds like you're under the weather. Like under the snow. Which coincidentally, we just had in April for this time ever. And uh, our guys here are dealing with some snow as well. So. Let's continue. A little, little Hampton. Story. Yep. And with the story done, ooh. Inquisitor Serenth, Mauritius Johan Weiss, we have been dispatched by urgent order from the sacred office to bring you home. Please, let's not make this any more difficult than it needs to be. I didn't expect this. Who expects the, uh,. The Reftane Inquisition? What is this? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, brothers. It must surely be some sort of mistake. I wasn't expecting any kind of Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Please, Mauritius, do not insult us by playing for fools. You know full well why we're here, as do the people of Tawny Edge. They have been without a pastor for almost a month now. Month? You told us you were only a few days late, Mauritius. Goodness, has it really been that long? I might have lost track of the time a little. More, more likely, likely you, you stopped counting. Oh, you wanted to take that? More likely you stopped counting, brother. We've been following your erratic trail for some time now. Until recently, those were the movements of a man evading his responsibilities. Are you afraid of something, brother? Uh, afraid? No. But I knew that I had passed a point of no return, that I could not come back. It's all right, brother. It's never too late to receive the loving embrace of the Inquisition. You were unable to help yourself then, but we are here now to assist. The loving embrace of the Inquisition always sounds just a little ominous to me. Just a teeny tiny bit. Everything is going to be all right. You're not alone anymore. The Inquisition will attend to your failings. And that doesn't sound any better either. <laughs> my failings? The only failure here was my assignment as pastor to that backwards dust bowl. I took one look at it, turned it back around, and walked away. I'm no preacher. Try as I might, I can never be a man of the people. It cannot be God's will that my place be out there. I should have been left with my books. You admit you, you have been questioning the wisdom of the sacred office, Mauritius. They who are ordained by the Lord God himself to serve with his blessing? To accuse them is to accuse him. No, it isn't. Those who staff the sacred office are as human and fallible as you or I. Just as the good book says all men are, I have every right to question them. I am late in my years, having given the best of them in service to the church and the God that I love. The library was my life. I was happy there at Preston. Amongst the books and the scrolls, they only moved me to spite me. Without You're only the... 47, Mauritius. Um, <laughs> late in your years is maybe a little over dramatic. Yeah, but look at the uh, gray that he's got creeping in already. Yeah, yeah. Without those, I do not know what my purpose in life is. But I know that it isn't to preach. I'm not a people person. Truth be told, I don't even like most people. Well, good news, Mauritius. You are not required to like all people. You are only required to love all people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although, to be fair, the context that I heard that in was uh, a, this guy on YouTube I listened to said, well, it's a good thing that as Christians we're only called to love all people. We don't have to like all people. <laughs> <laughs> um... I have found relief from my uncertainty out here with my staff in my hand, fighting against adversity. I realize now that I can make a difference. This may be my calling. I must follow it. We do not have the luxury of choosing our calling, Mauritius. It chooses us. The pursuit of personal happiness is secondary to your duty to God, and to the poor souls we are here to save. You took the same vows as us, and you know that. Life is a struggle to better ourselves against hardship, and you clearly have much room to improve. 
Their errant behavior indicates a loss of faith. Would that be a correct assumption? I have become aware of some uncertainties. I've begun to cons consider some unanswered questions. I saw firsthand the devastation of Port of Ale. I've had difficulty reconciling the image of the callous god that it presents me with the loving god I knew until now. Do not worry, brother. We in the Inquisition are trained to deal with these problems. Do not be too hard on yourself. A new great war is coming, and its horrors will test the faith of a great many of God's people. We have an opportunity to consolidate the importance of the Church amongst the Lerefti's people to bring so many that have forgotten God back to knowing him. And may I say, just the way he's phrasing this strikes me as remarkably callous. Yeah. Yeah. It's... We have the horrors of war coming, but good thing this is an opportunity to, uh... Never let a good crisis go to waste. It may be the only way to save our nation from the barbarity that falls now upon it. We also stand to lose a great deal, and we cannot afford signs of weakness, indecision, or heresy. Nicholas agrees. You cannot afford signs of heresy. Nope. Bitch slap it as soon as possible. How can we expect the people to embrace God's love when we do not fully know it ourselves? Do you see what I mean, brother? I do, yes. I have strayed, and I'm no longer fit to serve our dear church in my current state. Good! Admission is the first step towards repentance and correction. We need you to come with us, Mauritius. A man of the cloth in your condition cannot be seen on the streets. We will take you home. No, I cannot go with you. Not now. I beg your pardon, brother. Said he's not going. If I'm familiar with the law, unless you two are members of the inspectorate or acting uh, on a parliamentary decree, Mauritius does not have to go anywhere with you. What's wrong, Mauritius? Does this spoilt young aristocrat speak for you now? Yes, he does. I cannot go with you. I told you I had found my calling and I meant it. I have more important business to take care of here in the mountains. More important than God's will, brother? Because that is what you're defying with this dangerously heretical behavior. Think carefully now. I love this expression on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Raising one eyebrow, the other one furrowed. <laughs> How dare you claim to know God's will? You don't understand it any more than I do. All that you're following is a self-perpetuating bureaucracy, and I have no reason to surrender myself to you. I cannot blame you. I have fallen folly to the same delusions of self-importance myself. I have work here to do. Work that God himself, in whatever wisdom he has, has decided to leave for us. I cannot ignore it. If you are here for my priesthood, then you can take it. But you cannot take me. I have a mission now, as do my colleagues. You can let us pass, or you shall be moved by us. Are you really threatening an Inquisitor? That is grounds for incarceration in itself. The rot is set deeper than we had imagined. Tisk tisk indeed. Indeed, brother. It pains the soul to see how easily our weak-minded fellows are led astray. Defying the Inquisition in broad daylight cannot be allowed to pass. Stand aside, please, all of you. Mauritius cannot escape the responsibilities that his robe carries so easily. In spite of his lapses, he remains a priest, and we are his family. We must take him into custody for his own well-being. Come now, there's no need for this. We understand your concerns, and we want to resolve this matter peacefully. But we're quite prepared to defend ourselves. The lives of a great many people may be at stake here. What are lives if not lived morally? We are well trained in combat. Grim will be the judgment that you receive from the Lord for striking his servants in the midst of their most important business. I am prepared to meet it when it comes. We cannot both be in God's grace, so let us put our favor to the test. Well, that was unexpected. Nobody expects that. No, not at all. And Mauritius out and out says it during the conversation, which makes me giggle. Yep. So, we've got a pair of priests that both have really high chi. 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, we could go for uh, Lucky Shot, but it doesn't seem to uh, do all that much damage. So I don't know if that's uh, entirely worth it. What you could do is just focus on Aim Shot and Slay to try and uh, knock it down and damn the guy in the first place to reduce his resistances. I mean, yep. that's a... That does seem like a uh, very reasonable option. Let's see what sort of defenses he has. Yeah, and he's got really good 40% uh, magical defense. I think we're just going to go for the focus fire option. The other guy appears to be... Uh, appears to have lower health, chi, and resistances in general. So, but uh, he's also... You could do high fire and uh, sword faith if you wanted to try and focus down the guy in the back. Uh, not particularly, actually, because he's got... Well, true. That's a, that's a smaller net resistance in Magical, because that's minus 104, that's minus 70. He's got a he's got a larger one. I don't really think Magic is going to be that useful with such high Magic resistance that these guys have. So, just uh, aim shot and slay, and uh, then do... Aim shot, slay... Put and Mauritius will damn wrath you. and heal. Damn wrath and heal as the situation demands. Exactly. So, let's go. Oh, and he just got damned. He just got damned. So, I'm thinking, uh, let's get Furwin out to the front then. And let's swap what, uh, what Mauritius is doing. Yep. Back to wrath. Yeah, that's, uh, Big difference. It's, uh. I don't know. He's losing uh, 92 and 7%, and he's losing 79 and 7%. So, you know. Whatever. Let's continue. I think we've got a good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We burned straight through his chi. <laughs> Alright, now was... we. That Damn was a lot him. easier than expected. And probably Grace can go up front. Go and let's get Wrath going. Maybe you should heal. Yeah, I could. Doesn't look like he's gonna stay up much longer. Nope. And just in time for the other one to not get up. And we gained a level. Perfect. Oh god, what have we done? Oh, don't you worry. These two aren't debtors. There's breath in them yet. We can find some space to put them up to recover. Pay for it with a coin in their pockets. We're a town that's good at keeping quiet. There'll be no word from here until these two are fit to walk in a few days' time. You have that much assurance from us. Thank you, kind sir. I don't know where a few days' time will find us, but given our travels in the past week, I expect it will be far from here. Try to cheer up, Mauritius. You look almost as white as the snow. We did what we had to. There's some things that can't be left to God. If we fail to stop the war, I expect there won't be much of a church left to pursue you, anyway. Yes, Ferwin, fantastic. Now I lose no matter what happens. I can never go back. Lord, forgive me, I am trying to find the path, but the way is so unclear. I can only follow my heart now. Okay, level time! You won. Kill Wrath and Dam. Uh, Fortitude or uh, Chosen? Yep. It's magic and no resistance. Fortitude. Let's go with Fortitude. For win! 12. Thunder Strike or Recover, maybe? Yeah. I think we can go for Recover. Race! Got Aim Shot. Good, maxed out. Probably go with, uh... Oh, let's go for it. Ah, high fire. All right. Okay. That's everyone powered up. Oh, wait, before oh. you move on, go back to Little Hampton. Oh, man, you, uh... Uh, restore from the save. There were a bunch of chests that were left there, and they disappeared after you left the... Okay. 
Restore uh, from that's, save. No! That's not restore. That's... You saved over it. I Good saved over God. it. God. You know, we didn't actually cover any story. Uh, or uh, from the last save. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to stop you before you did something very foolish, but I was not fast enough. You were not. You know what? I can exit to menu. We can continue. And um, we get aid station 12. <laughs> Aid Station 12. All right. We've already seen all of this. Parliamentary. Yada, yada, yada. Skip. Yeah. Did I see someone else? No. Add Pete. Hello, Roxas. Anyway. Oh, did we shop yet here? No, we didn't. So we do not want plated vest. We do want uh, Gorlamine and uh, standard rifle. All right. Take the rifle. Take the sword. Back to here. 250. We said no to this belt. Yes. 185. 80. 7. 127 it's going to be. And we don't that, don't we? That's what we just... Okay. Good. Anyone else? Well, at least we, we saved some money off of this. Yeah, we saved a little bit of money off of my mistake. Roxas, welcome back. Cool. We caught up from my little blunder. Skip. And let's let Mauritius stay in front to absorb the dam. And damn the front guy. Damn the front guy. Slay, aim, shot. All right, now we rotate. Or we can have him take, like, a couple of attacks and then rotate. We can have him take... Uh, no. There. Now we'll want to have him do Wrath or Heal, because... Yep. Heal won't help us quite yet. I regret letting him stand up front for that long. Okay. Back um, what? My <clears throat> shot? I fired? Uh... High fire and uh, sword faith. Then, once we burn down the guy, uh... fire, lucky shot, replace with high fire. <coughs> Let's let everyone kind of get out of the way. Good. Oh, lovely. That doesn't actually work. So you get to heal for a bit. Race, get up. And he's using heal to be super annoying. Yep. Yeah, incredibly annoying. You know, so is Mauritius, so, you know, I can't complain too much. Except for the fact that we're doing damage slower than he's recovering, it seems. But we're healing, at least, so... And Grace continues to dodge, like a champ. And she stopped dodging. Erwin, your turn again. Six hundred sixty-six. That does not seem very fitting from an Inquisitor. Okay. I am very much annoyed here. I'm going to ignore that guy for now. Focus on yeah. that guy. Aim shot, slay, and forget about him in the back. Focus fire on the white mage. Geek the mage. Yep. Oh, and heal. Yes. Okay. Uh, put Mauritius in front. He's gonna die from a magical attack. If Look at everybody else's health. True. Okay. He looks like he's coming in for a physical attack, at least. Good. Uh, 
slay, aim shot. Nope. Mauritius, keep healing. You guys just do regular attacks. He got oh. stunned by the trick. Yep. Put... Alright, do Wrath for Mercius now, just to... Just to finish it off. Oh, that was a uh, far worse encounter. Okay. This time, let's actually grab Ruby Ring of Health. Scripture. Staff. Bittersweet. Alright, let's see what toys he got. Uh, let's start with skills. Uh, we said fortitude. Recover. Uh, recover. And, and high fire. fire. Now, let's go to inventory. What sort of let's toys do we get? Bittersweet. Let's on a oh, bonus to dam. A bonus plus 52. It reduces his health, but it gives a significant bonus to Dam, and it makes him deal a uh, ethereal bonus, which uh, ethereal, there's not a lot of flat resist on it, so. Yeah. Potential. Chi, heal, blessing, aurora. Ooh. Um, it's hard to... Strength through faith, uh, let's compare that to the one he's currently using. I'd say uh, Strength Through Faith is probably unambiguously better than Calm Waters, although Calm Waters has some... Uh... Yep. I agree with you there. It's got just a flat magical bonus. That's better, but that's got Chi, that's got Heal. I'm taking Strength Through Faith. Now we can consider whether Bittersweet is worth it or not, and I don't think it is. I think I like Strength Through Faith a little more. Let's take a look at Garl's Foul Tongue. Colonel's Foul Tongue. Special Poison. What There's... that does is periodically it kicks in and poisons absolutely everyone who's uh, vulnerable to uh, poison on the field. Ally and enemy. Yep. Oh, I... ally and enemy? Yes. Darn it. And here I was thinking it actually seemed nice with that big damn and wrath bonus. I actually use it, but it's sort of obnoxious, and I eventually get rid of it in favor of other things. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to pass. That sounds terrible. Ooh. Oh. Well. Uh, the, the Fortunate Mikolet, uh was something we upgraded from a long time ago, actually. Okay. So it was those three... And the Ruby Ring of Health we can use instead of her uh, yeah. Red Ring of Health. Health plus 40 as opposed to Health plus 380. Obviously much better. Yep. Okay. I think uh, we're good here. So, now let's go here for real. And I get to do a little bit of editing there to fast forward through all that. Southern well, Ascent. we get to see the uh, loot. Edit before we get to the loot, because... Yes. We definitely are ascending. I do like that, at least. Okay, new enemies! Blunderbuss. That's funny, he doesn't look like a shotgun. No, he doesn't. Large, so he's weak to uh, aimed shot. And slay. and slay. And he has a bunch of resists. Bunch of resists. So that's that's just basically a damn slay aimed shot. That guy's decently resistive. Yeah, I think we're just kind of going to focus fire our way through here. And we'll see what we learn about their behavior as we uh, fight them. Exactly. Okay. So uh, that... Something weird just happened to Grace. She is iced. Can we read about any of that status anywhere? Doesn't look, uh, like... look at her uh, bar. Her, her energy bar. I mean, it's behind everyone else's. It's not going. Well, 
It's not going at all while yeah. she's iced. Yep. She's frozen. No, I mean, really, she's frozen. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, annoying. So we learned those uh, stupid Iceni are annoying. Yes, we did. All right. Well, let's um... damn him and uh, let's damn the Iceni and uh, get rid of him because he's super annoying. Yeah, so you know what? Let's just switch to Iceni. Damn. Uh, sword Faith worth it? Let's slay. Yeah. We've got our, uh, we've got our good defaults. And he has a heal, too, because of course he does. Because of course he does. Okay. Focus fire the little, uh, the annoying runt. And Mauritius uh, has amazing chi blocking all that. Except and for now he, that he's blocked, he's iced. I like him in the middle of his freaking animation there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I see me down. Uh, just, nah, not worth it. Not worth a damn. Let's just keep wrath. Oh, and he has recovered. He has recovered. There we go. All done. That wasn't too bad. A little bridge. Ooh, what do we have here? Chill Splinter. My Pokemon senses are telling me that these guys will explode when we kill them. I guess we'll see, won't we? I guess we will. They have pretty good resists. Um, you do. Piercing, they uh, are the least resistant to, so... Good yeah, thing... And, and what were you telling me about ethereal damage? Uh, there's no flat resistances ah. to ethereal Yes, no flat resistances. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, that guy has an 80% ethereal resist. So, so, short of being completely immune to it, you'll always do at least something if someone's doing some ethereal. Yep. Okay. There's the dam. Let's toss a wrath. Uh oh. I think of. Uh, we may want to pause our attacks while we make sure that we actually have a good time to get them off. That is a good idea. All right, All right looks like they're... Uh, looks like everyone's uh, in place. Good. Switch to a Wrath. Pause everyone. Or er, a Dam. Pause everyone. And they, I think you had okay. better start healing, actually. I think so, too. Uh, should, I'll even recover for a teeny tiny bit. And have Grace Fire. Slay. Aimed shot. Go. Alright, pause, except not keep healing. Fortunately, he's looking significantly better now than he was. Now we can unpause because... Yep. Uh... Pause, heal. These bastards can be slightly annoying. Yes, they can. Okay. I think it's time to switch. No, let's toss a wrath. Because they're decently good for now. All right, unpause because. Pause, fire. Oh, you just missed that. I missed bastard. that one, but I got the one in the back. And it looks like we have uh, one more uh, jerk coming back up in a moment. Yes, we do with uh, R0. Okay, zoom. Yep, with all 365 health. All right. Pause. Focus fire! Almost. Pause, resume. Alright, hopefully that'll kill everyone. Nope. Oh. That guy just barely evaded. No! 
Okay, that is jerk. that is incredibly annoying. Everyone, pause. Go. Let's wait until you know what? I'll wait until he go. Yep, I'm glad I waited. Uh, Grace, you go by yourself. Good. Now unpause everyone else because now we've got Jerko back up. Jerko is back up, and he's dead, and we gained a level. Alright, skills. Ooh, we can level up a further level now, as yes, you see can. all the... Uh, so I'm thinking we're gonna go with a, uh... Dam or with Wrath? With Dam. For when? Uh, Might, right? Yes, we like Might. We do. Might makes right. And aim shot. Go! That's our most important uh, skills taken care of. Yay! And I see me again. Okay. I suggest we do high fire and sword faith on Bastard. I think so too. Damn, high fire, sword faith, go. Oh, and look who got iced. Hey, and she dodged once. Nice. Okay, she yeah. can go to aimed fire now, and aimed he can fire go to... slay. And Furwin, hop up front. Let's damn him because. Let's. And I think you can start healing for a bit. Yeah. Let's I move think... him in front. That's a good point. He's got a lot of chi to, uh... Okay. The Iceni is not gonna last. No, he's not. No, he's not. Well, unless, uh... Let's do sword faith on him because we saw that, uh that punches straight through and just have uh, Grace continue doing aim shot. Oh, but look who's frozen. Because all well, we could have her do high fire. There we go. Or well no, he's unfrozen. He's unfrozen. There we go. There we go. Back to slay. Good. Back now to dam for a moment. And that annoying guy's back. That's all right. To wrath. Let's just power through these guys. Back to damn again. Back to wrath. Cheetah. And he's gonna go down when she shoots. Yep. Three foes and we gained some more experience. But no level. That's okay. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Let's do aim shot and sword faith. I think. Sword Here. faith. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We may as well put a dam as well. And then start wrathing or healing, as the case is, until the Iceni is set. Uh... Exactly. Oh, yay, he got iced. Well, I don't think the Iceni is going to last much longer. No, it's not. There it goes. And now we can swap to slay because. Yep. Because we may and as we well can... focus fire this guy. Get a damn yeah. out. Frankly, my dear, I give a damn. No, let's not do a damn. Let's just wrath. Uh, you can keep... Uh, no. We'll continue. Okay, didn't make a difference. Let's sword right. faith again. Or oh, wait, no, he got wrathed. Oh, he got wrathed. Perfect. Back to slay. And Grace got frozen because of course she did. Because of course she did, but we killed that guy more or less on accident, so not bad. 
And let's hope we can just overpower the uh, blunderbuss. Yes, we do. Cool. We did gain a level, though. The blunderbuss has a fairly uh, scattershot approach to combat, I'd say. Yep. Let's toss a wrath. Irwin? Sorry, I had to. You know I did. I know you did. That's why I didn't even recognize why I didn't even acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's go with Slay. Yep. And Grace, uh I guess. Fortitude or Lucky Shot. Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, Fortitude. I like my passive skills. I like them more than I should. Hey, you're not the only one. Oh, and there's the Southern Ascent taken care of. Bitten Breeding Fields. Ooh, what are those? And we hit a save point. The problem is, with that editing... No, we went through that really quickly, so... Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. That's it for uh, episode 17. So, well, that was an exciting uh, thing where you almost passed up some good stuff. Yeah, that was uh, very much in character for me. Missing I some love those uh, clouds. treasure chests. They are. They're really lovely. I mean, not that we need to say it over and over again, but and this game has some really good art. It really does. I'm, for all it's a really simple style, I, I really like it. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah. Oh well. Uh. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh. See you in the next episode. Uh. We'll also be cutting the stream here because I get to edit this episode. Yay! <laughs> I can't Hooray. just upload it straight away. Uh, as always, like, follow, subscribe. Uh, Roxas, thank you for hanging out in the stream. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.